Today we are going from uh, Wickham to Liverpool. I'm actually funneled this, this is Jersey, but I'm going to, get to uh, Liverpool first just to pick up some friends. So uh, we got uh, Wickham to get us an IFR clearance. I'll hopefully come back with that shortly from London. Uh, but take off from here. I suspect they'll probably give us Henson or uh, West Scott, so one of the two NDBs to the north. And then we filed for Yoda, uh, the Birmingham NDB staffer. Nancy and I suspect from Nancy we'll probably end up getting radar vectored to the uh, RLS at Liverpool anyway. The weather's actually pretty good for EMC, but um, it's uh, just for sort of a bit of currency. I'm just going to do a bit of a uh, just an, an instrument approach. November 42 Lima Romeo Wickham Radio. Yep, go ahead, November 42 Lima Romeo. November 42 Lima Radio, are you ready for your uh, clearance? Ready to copy. Uh, London Control instructs November 4 to Lima Romeo to remain outside of controlled airspace on track to Daventry, Squawk 5412, contact London on 119.780. London Control instructs November 4 to Lima Romeo to remain outside of uh, controlled airspace on track to Daventry, Squawk 5412, and after departure London on 119.780, November 4 to Lima Romeo. November 4 to Lima Romeo, read back correct. Cool, so we've got a uh, squawk there, 5412, 5412 goes into the transponder, next frequency is uh, London on, uh, we'll put that on box 1, 119, decimal 780, and on the out select we can put 3300 just to maintain outside controlled airspace. So the two ways to put the flight plan in is you've got on four flights, you can go centre panel, and we have a look on here, we've got this little one pending flight plan. Click on enter, and then we've got the whole flight plan in there, so we can either activate that, but what we'll do is we'll just do the old fashioned way as we're waiting for the engines to warm up and for a bit of practice. So, uh, basically, we've got the origin of Wickham, so Echo, Golf, Tango, Bravo, and runway 24, we're expecting to depart, which we will do. Next waypoint is, uh, he's actually just given us our clearance, so it's Daventry, so uh, Delta. Tango, Yankee. Golf, What I'll do is I'll put in the other waypoints and actually sort of see what the actual flight plan looks like itself. But uh, so we've got Yoda. So Y O. Uh, uh, that's my usual. Can't do the alphabet. H A. Correction D. A, there we go. And then we've got the Bravo Hotel X ray, which is a Birmingham NDB. Uh, 
Birmingham NDB, uh, then we're on to Staffa, so S. T. A. F. A. After Staffa, we're loading an airway, so it's Lima 8, so we click on Menu, Low Airway, Lima 8, Exit to Nancy, Load. And then after Nancy, we've got the other way, which is Yankee 5-3, so load airway, Yankee 5-3, and then that takes us to Wallasey. Load, and at the very end of that is the destination, which is Liverpool, so Echo Golf. Golf, uh, Papa. Uh, runway, we're going to expect runway 27, and uh, for the VNAV as well. Uh, let's have a quick look at four flights, so for the VNAV, uh, I'll update it as we get a little bit further on, but the uh, elevation of Liverpool is 81 feet, so I'm just going to pop that in for an initial, uh, initial reference above sea level. There you go, that all looks pretty good. We just have a final sort of scroll through that to make sure it all makes sense. Yeah, which it does, excellent. Cool, right, not much else to uh, do just at the time being. So, uh, expected airborne in uh, time 2.5. Engines, had a quick look at the engine page. Yeah, that's uh, sort of warming up nicely, so uh, yeah, I'll probably join you again for the power check. Right, okay, so for the power checks, fuel pumps off, alternator is off as well, cross feeds are closed. So doing the voter check, so from A to B, we've got the bump on B, and the other engine is running on the opposite one. Both were looking normal, holding down both ECU test switches, covering the brakes, but the parking brake is holding. Two times fails, one for each engine. Load goes up, RPM goes up. Goes through its cycle. Uh, that's all looking pretty good. Happy with all of that. And of course, it's a clear pre departure check, so landing light goes on, Peter Contact heat goes on. Fuel pumps one and two both go on, flaps are in their uh, approach position. That's just a sore heat fail. Get an alternator stirred, parking brake comes off with the cabin heat on, fossils are idle, cross speed's closed, trim set for takeoff, auxiliary pumps all looking good. And what we'll do is I will have the map on so we can just keep an eye on the weather as well. And of Airport 4 2 Lima Romeo ready for departure. Departure at time 2 Lima Romeo, wind 2 0 0 6 knots. Fire rolling, runway 2 4 of Airport 4 2 Lima Romeo. Kill! Cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Yes, yeah, it might be quite busy. Uh, just thinking it might be sort of a few bumps with these glimmers clouds. So approach all looks clear. No one's seen on final. Well, it looks clear from the opposite direction. Not expecting any crazy people to uh, sort of be going that direction, but you never know. Alright, uh, final sweep, all looks good inside, I'm all happy. So, holding on the brakes, slight crosswind from the left, still probably need a fair chunk of right pedal. So, RPM's coming up. Wanting to achieve 100%, which we have, 2300 on each prop, and fuel flow all looks normal. Right, take off. Uh, acceleration feels normal. Just got birdies get out of the way. Airspeed's live, T's and P's all looking good. And 76 road saints on the brakes, gears coming up. Your damper goes on. Uh, slight left turn for noise abatement. Engine's still looking good. And uh, flaps can come up. Uh, all the pilots can go in. 40 Lima Romeo, we can radio. Yep, go ahead. Uh, any chance of a cloud based report, please? Yep, sure. What do we... yeah, I'd say. And uh, cloud base looks uh, just probably about scattered clouds, about a thousand feet uh, above ground level. 
scattered at 1000 AGL, thank you very much. Step on space, changing to London, 119780, good day. Good day. There we go, on to London, on oh, box one, 2000, climbing 3300. Good morning, November 40, Lima Romeo, 2300, climbing 3300, Daventry. Uh, November 40, Lima Romeo, Lancashire, hello there, just confirm it's your fast 2000 for the street. Hey, firm, uh, 2500 now, November 40, Lima Romeo. Lima Romeo, thank you, space exam, thank you, all airspace, and uh, let me know when you're ready to copy your join. Uh, basically outside, ready to copy, November 40, Lima Romeo. November 40, Lima Romeo, Roger, you are cleared to join control airspace, on track to Daventry, climbing flight level 70. Let's join on track number two, climbing flight level 70 in November 40, Lima Romeo. Number 40, Lima Romeo, read back, correct. Oh, that's nice and easy, 70. And we have flight level change. There you go, put 100 knots on there. Right, all's looking pretty good inside so far. I'll put the. Uh, we ain't going to the ice on, we're 5 degrees in the moment, but I suspect we're going to get into some pretty bumpy clouds very shortly. I'll probably just have a quick look at the weather radar, see what pitch that's producing. And tilt it up a little bit and zoom it out. Yeah, so there were a few sorts of time cumulus, and I suspect we'll probably end up going in one or two, so uh, yeah, I suspect it might be a little bit of a bumpy ride to start with. What do I do? Just put a little bit more heat on for me. Everything else looks good inside. On track to have a tree we have. So what I can do. The high pressure low, that's fine. Occasionally comes up, standard baro and one zero one three. Five seven nine are passing flight level one seven zero, descending flight level one six zero. Four degrees, come into five thousand feet, clear to flight level seven zero. Flight level one three zero, air turn off five seven nine November 40, Lima Romeo, it's now radar control service, continue present heading and report that heading. Radar control, present heading, heading 340 degrees, November 40, Lima Romeo. November 40, Lima Romeo, thank you, and what's your request to cruise level today? Uh, flight level 80, November 40, Lima Romeo. Lima Romeo, roger, but uh, just for now, maintain flight level 701 reaching, please. Maintain 701 reaching, November 40, Lima Romeo. Oh, there you go. The icing system can go off then. Ah, this is quite nice up here, isn't it? There you go, so it's coming up so fast as go. Outside air temperature's one degree. We can get rid of the alternate air now. So landing lights are all off, Peter remains on, fuel pumps off, flaps are up, all looking good. Go back onto the flight plan page. 1000 to go. Five hundred feet to go there. I say it feels quite chilly in this uh, conference so. There we go. Just simply to turn the events down. That's coming up to one hundred feet to go. So the aircraft now is pitching down. Out selects, which has now gone to altitude on the top green strip, seven thousand feet. Aircraft starts to level off. See that the aircraft is starting to accelerate here. So I maintain 90%. Uh, 40 Lima Romeo, turn right heading 350 degrees. Uh, right heading 350 degrees, November 40 Lima Romeo. Air China 570. So it helps us out with a little bit of weather there. So right heading 350. Uh, have a look out the window, all the weather's off to the left hand side. Cool, 350 we have, hands. I can bring the fossils back now to 75%. November 42, Lima Romeo, climb and maintain flight of late zero. Climb maintain 87, November 40, Lima Romeo. Now, since bringing the fossils back, oh, of course he's going to give us a climb. So, flight level change goes in, you've got that on the top command bar. 
And with the airspeed, I'm just beeping it back to something sensible, more like 100 knots. As that's there, both throttles can go to 90% again. So then the aircraft on the way to climb. It's nice, you've got a nice little, uh, it's having cumulus sort of popping his head up there. I think there's going to be a few of these around today, so I just need to sort of keep an eye out not to uh, fly into too many of them. And leave Bogdan on the radar heading of uh, 170 degrees. Direct Bovington and then leaving Bovington 170 degrees. China 579, contact Heathrow Director, 119730, goodbye. Uh, one one, uh, confirm frequency as Air Channel 579. Air Channel 579, it's Heathrow. Sounds so pretty cool. One so one niner, decimal seven. Yeah, right three, next three. door to a CB. One one niner, seven three zero, Air Channel 579. Definitely going to be a CB lazy. It looks like it's having cumulus at the moment. So fossils can now come back to uh, 75%. For our crews, there you go. Hopefully, should build some fuel now. Whiskey Heathrow Director 119730. Number 40, leave a Romeo, heading to London 130, decibel 925. Heading to London 130925, November 40, leave Romeo. London, good morning, November 40, leave Romeo. Uh, radar heading 350 degrees. November 4, to Lima Romeo, hello to you, maintain flight level 80. Maintain 80, November 4, to Lima Romeo. East flight 963, resume on navigation. Yeah, to so uh, well, we're just southeast of Downtree at the moment, uh, estimated landing time at 920, uh, so it's 35 Zulu at the moment. So, uh, yeah, it gives sort of 45 minutes. So, uh, yeah, what I might just do, just sit back, enjoy the view, turn the cameras off, and I'll uh, catch you guys when we're probably. Uh, probably just north of Birmingham, think about how we're going to get to Liverpool. So, see you in a bit. Uh, so, uh, right, you're joining us, we're just south of Birmingham at the moment, just switched onto the Airways map because we've got some off routes, uh, Airways waypoints where we wanted to uh, find out where they were. Uh, Sapco is one of them, and now we're back on track going direct to uh, Nancy. So, uh, just sort of switching it back onto the VFR map, um, you're getting a decent idea. We can find the right VFR map, there you go. Uh, so we're uh, just southeast of Birmingham, southeast of Coventry. It's uh, 8,000 or uh, flight level 80, and uh, we're estimating number four in uh, about 40 minutes' time. So um, it's, it's a BMC day. Uh, we have a look at the uh, satellite weather. So what I'll do is I'll put the camera on here. So uh, just having a quick look at the satellite weather. So I'll put on to uh, weather data link there, and if we scroll all the way up to our destination. And we've just got uh, that little box there, which is Echo Golf, Golf Papa, and the 18th at uh, time, 820 Zulu, so 20 minutes old. Wind 280 at 10 knots, sort of 9, fuel at 1900, scatter at 2400, temperature 15, 2.9, QNH 1011. So I'll just pop that in standby here, so uh, just for a bit of a reference for when we get there. So uh, the weather's actually perfectly good to do a uh, visual join, but like I said, just for a bit of a um, just for a bit of practice because I haven't got a lot of instruments uh, approaches in the uh, uh, in recent times. Um, I'm just going to do an instrument approach into uh, Liverpool. So uh, just having a look at four flight. Just has gone show full screen. And uh, having a look at the approaches, and we've got this whole list of approaches to, uh, to choose from. So uh, we've got the uh, RLS on runway 27, the NDB on 27, and there's also an RMP on 27. So, uh, yeah, just need to think about which one I'm going to do. Mr. Tyra, Sir Tyra, nice that you're out flying with our aircraft. DA 42 MG 6, everything you can have in there with the Garmin 4 flight. Everything. Okay, here's the deal. First, I thought, ah, I think I'm gonna give him an NDB approach. I wanna see his 
needle flying skills and the needle is lying at the end of B, you know, blah, blah. But you know what? We're just gonna send you with vectors to the localizer and then you're gonna intercept that glide path, sorry, glide slope, and then you're gonna glide down the ILS to the minimums and you give us the best landing you ever did. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Michael. So apparently we're gonna do a radar vectored uh, ILS at uh, Liverpool. So let's setting up on the flight plan here. <coughs> what we do is we hit the procedure button and then you've got three options. You've got select approach, select arrival, select departure. We may need to do an arrival, it may just be radar vectors in, I'm not entirely sure yet, but uh, what I'll do is I'll get an approach uh, armed in the back, so uh, if we uh, basically we've got our all set up and if we wanted to use it, we can uh, just quickly activate it. So select approach, uh, enter, and then you've got all the options here. So the RLS runway 27, and uh, vectors for the RLS as well. Uh, I don't think I use one of the uh, initial approach fixes for this one. Then we've got a little box here which says minimum, so I'm just having a look at the plate which I've got here, so uh, make sure we get the right one up. Giggity. So uh, NDB, RLS, DME, runway 27, and uh, the minimum is uh, 200 feet above airfield level, and the airfield at uh, the threshold is 78 feet above sea level, so that gives us a minimum of 278 feet. So we put firing minimums on there, and 278, so what we'll do is we'll just round it up to 280. It's the uh, India Lima Quebec 111 at decimal 75. So, I'm a quick look at the play 111 decimal 75 that matches. And what we can do is we can just load that approach there. And uh, you just get this little warning saying it's for garden sentence. And uh, just for monitoring. So, once that's loaded in, you have a look on the main screen now what is automatically done on both NAV 1 and NAV 2. It's for the, uh, the uh, India Lima Quebec in the RLS 111 decimal 75. And uh, basically, as we source sort of tuning NAV 8, it's too far to identify, but as we source sort of tuning NAV 8 as well. Uh, well, we can also just put the beacon in since it is an NDB RLS DME runway 27, and that's 349.5. So, you've got the ADF here, so 3. 9.5 and then we just swap that over and what I could probably do is just put that on bearing 1 so the ADF is pointing on bearing 1 and we're too far away from the beacon so he's just going to be sort of going around in circles for the time being uh, yeah so we're all basically set up so what we could do is a little bit of an approach briefing so having a look at the uh, plates down here so uh, there is one no Sam and uh, that's uh, read that this morning it's not too relevant so we can start getting the frequencies tuned up. So we're speaking to London at 130, that's 1925. Good morning, H1. We get the ATIS 124. That's more 330. Edge 16, London Control, Squawker, then basic service. And then we can also have Liverpool approach 119855. 119.855. Right, we are going to go for a little bit of a cloud, minus 4 degrees. What I'll do, I'm not going to put the icing system on, but I'm just going to put the alternative air on for the time being. A little bit of convective layer on it, so we will probably get a bump, but uh, I don't think it'll be anything too dramatic. We are outside the yellow arc as well. Easy 2-1 Yankee Juliet, hello, descent flight level 150, be level clip B. Descent level 150, level clip B, easy 2-1 Yankee Juliet. Well, this is keeping a good on the awesome pilot, making sure he's doing his own thing. Fairly wet in this cloud, we've got moisture all over the windscreen now. Edge one six, apologies, I didn't see any ice. Slightly low ice build up from that one. Aircraft uh, directly above you, high level, which uh, obscured it. Could you ident again, please? Ident again, edge one six. Edge one six, you're identified now, and just southwest of X zero by about three miles. As I said, basic service, but you're now cleared to enter controlled airspace on track. That's kind of nice, just passing through cloud like this. Zero. Yeah, excellent. Don't have to worry about for a little bit. So we've got approach set up, 119.4855. And uh, we'll have that after there. And what we can do is probably put the tower on uh, box one, so 126, provided then passes to uh, Scottish first. 355. Uh, three, five, five. There you go. So we've got uh, control who's speaking to at the moment. We've got the ATIS. We've got Liverpool approach and Liverpool tower all set up there. So continue to have a look at the plates. So we've got the uh, localizer 111.75 and uh, final approach course is 267, which uh, we'll check once we uh, activate the vectors to final. 
top of the drop is 2,000 feet at 5.9 miles from uh, the uh, India Lima Quebec. Decision altitude, which we put in, which is 280 feet. Airport elevations uh, 81, and as we said, runway elevations uh, 78. When we look at the MSAC area, we're coming in from the southeast, so 2,900 from our sector, and then uh, from the left is uh, 3,100. In event of missed approach, we climb straight ahead to 1,500 feet, and the right turn back towards the beacon, climb to 2,000 as direct, so that's why you put a locator on. Of course, the yeah, aircraft's got the missed approach program done to the uh, GPS anyway, which is a hell of a lot more accurate, so we'll use that if required. And uh, coming down the plate, so Alice DME reads uh, 0 to 7 threshold, which is pretty standard. Aircraft unable to receive DME, we're not going to pay attention to that because we've got it. Slowest altitude is uh, coming to hold is 2,000 feet and uh, maximum is 85 knots, I wish. So having a quick look, fairly simple, uh, fairly simple plate. We're expecting radar vectors uh, to some points at uh, potentially sort of a six or seven mile final. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll keep the speed up, so we'll probably have about 130 knots on the way down. And uh, I'll drop the gear around four miles, so 130 knots with a bit of a headwind, 120 uh, ground speed that's calling. We're expecting to be centered at about 640 feet per minute for a three degree glide. And uh, looking at the approach band, it's an uh, RVR required of 550 meters. And uh, we're, yeah, we're all the nines to Liverpool, so we're well in excess of that. Yeah, so I'm fairly happy with the brief there. Uh, nothing special, I'll just review it as we get a little bit closer. Edge one, but, uh, uh, control there. Yeah, so far so good, so let's put it back onto map. All looking good. Radar control service, route Daventry, Charlie, India, Tango, H16. Yeah, so you join me, we're uh, just, uh, there we go, a map out. There you go, so we are Stoke on Chench, just having a look at the map. And uh, yeah, we'll probably start to descend into Liverpool uh, fairly shortly. Just having a look at the weather radar, as you can see, there's a fair few sorts of cells. And, uh, as you can see, there's just a big one which has just gone past the right side of the wing. So, uh, yeah, basically I'm just doing a few, uh, just sort of a few wiggles here and there just to avoid uh, whatever sort of bumps and lumps I can. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, get my chart out for Liverpool. So uh, what I'll do is I'll probably mimic the uh, set my camera up so uh, you guys can see exactly what I'm, uh, what, what I'm looking at for the approach. So what I might do is I might just turn it on once we get onto the final, because we want to keep a decent eye on the weather. Once we actually get onto the final approach course, what I'll do is I'll flip flop the screen so over. So we've got two uh, primary flight displays. And, uh, and then, uh, yeah, you guys can see exactly what I'm flying, and I'll probably just hand fly just for a little, you know, just a little bit of practice. Number 4 Lima, Romeo, excellent. Contact Liverpool Radar now, 119.855. Goodbye. Ship radar, woman, I know this way, 55, five, Canadian, November 40, Lima Romeo. What about Victor? Ship radar, good morning, November 40, Lima Romeo, uh, flight level 70, direct Keegan, with Victor, requesting an ILS for 27. Number 40, Lima Romeo, Liverpool radar, very good morning to you. Continue to Keegan, it will be Victor's for an ILS approach runway 27 with Victor and descent to altitude 3,500 feet, QNH 1011. Uh, Red of Exit RLS, uh, after Keegan, descent 3,500 feet on 1011, November 40, Lima Romeo. Right, anti-ice is on, alternate air is on, because we will get a few bumps and we will pick up ice in this cloud. Gear threshold, so you get the gear warning associated with that. Golf Alpha Victor, Charlie Victor, Liverpool Radar, good morning, report at Chester. Fort Chester, Charlie Victor. Golf Fox Rock Tango, C4000. Golf Fox Rock Tango, basic service, report when happy to leave the frequency. Basic service, uh, uh, just a little uh, bit. QSY, black so we just bring the speed back. Uh, Thanks, Fox Tango. Go for Chitanga, a firm, Scott 7000 and free call, black ball by now. Yeah, so a few sort of towering cumulus, but uh, nothing too drastic, just a few bumps here and there. Makes it a bit more fun. Nice things on, non normal, no ice on the wings, minus three degrees outside. And since we're coming out of the bottom of the cloud, what I could probably do for you guys with the display back up. There you go. So for you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. 
So it's keeping you updated on the map, basically where we are, I'll just put it back onto the VFR map. And Charlie Victor is at uh, Chester. There you go, so we're just up Liverpool now, so at some point we expect to see uh, take a right turn. And uh, then he'll probably stick us on a downwind for the RLS runway 27. Alright, that's coming up to 1,000 feet to go. So go back onto the charts. All looking good, the only thing I'm doing is just transferring the last bit of fuel out of the uh, auxiliary fuel tanks. Yeah, you can actually see the airport on the right. So, uh, like I said, just doing the RLS for just a little right? bit of practice. So Even though we could just take a visual uh, yeah, approach from here. November to Lima Bravo, turn, sorry, November to Lima Romeo even, turn right heading 360 degrees. Right heading 360 degrees, November to Lima Romeo. Alright, there you go, so 360 on the heading book there. Heading's in on the top strip, and the aircraft turns to the right. Got 200 feet to go until we level out. Uh, we're out of really bumpy stuff now, so I can put 75% back on the power. The parade are hello, Golf, Vector Romeo, ask a rejoin. Descent by phase. Uh, what do I do? To Lima Romeo, descent on to 3,000 feet. Descent 3,000 feet, November to Lima Romeo. Golf, Vector Romeo, ask a level score 5050, QNH1011, where do you wish to rejoin? 4550, QNH1011, would like to rejoin by Kirby Golf, Romeo, ask a. Covering Victor Romeo, Oscar, join the report at Kirby, VFR, not above altitude 2,000 feet on that QNH1011. Clear that control, not with altitude 2,000 feet, uh, QNH1011, Covering Oscar. Covering with Oscar, correct, it's basic service whilst outside. Basic outside, go for me, Oscar. Number 2, Lima Romeo, turn right, heading 085 downwind and descent altitude 2,000 feet. 085 downwind, descent altitude 2,000 feet, about the 2, Lima Romeo. Right, so just going on to the, uh, what we're going to do, op procedure, to go activate back to the final. There you go, it switches over to localizer 1, 1, 1, 1.75, DME all looks good. What we can do is ident the DME. And that's 1,000 feet to go. Okay, that's the LQ identified. Cool, we're right down to 2,000 feet. Uh, we've got 200 feet to go now. Uh, Romeo, you're left hand downwind, runway 270, you've got 1,600 feet to go now. 4 Romeo. Alright, what to do? Some pre-landing checks, so landing light won't come on until we've got clearance to land. Peter, heat remains on. Fuel pumps to on, fuel pumps to, flaps are up, alternate air can now go off. Cross speeds are not cross feeding, trimmers are set, auxiliary really pumps are not transferring. So uh, the approach brief we're complete, we know what we're doing, the aircraft's all set up, it's just finals today. So what I'll do now, I'm just going to take the flight directors out. And uh, just manually fly it. It's on the radar heading at 085 degrees. So when we land at Liverpool, uh, what we'll do is we'll probably take Foxtrot, I think it is, which is the uh, third exit. It's a high speed runoff for the opposite runway, but like the aircraft. November 2 Lima Romeo, turn left heading 010 degrees. Left heading 010 degrees, November 4 2 Lima Romeo. Uh, 010 degrees. 75% on the engines as well, just keep the speed up. Uh, very one turn all the way around, maintaining 2,000 feet to 010. Yeah, there you go, so 8 miles on the DMB, so uh, she'll probably cut us in at around 7 miles or so. Oh, uh, looking good so far, and the glide path is now alive. Confirming November, thank you, and contact hard on radar, 120. 010, zero, maintaining 2,000. Bye bye. Just a few bumps. Contact hard on radar, that 120, that's 055. Goodbye. Contact 
Remember to Lima Romeo, turn left, heading 300 degrees, clear down smoke, runway 27. Left 300 degrees, clear down left, runway 27, remember, 40 Lima Romeo. Uh, freezer, so I'm just going to bring this power back to about 60% now. So we can go for sensible speed. It's only 2,000 feet and we're cleared for the RLS. We're intercepting from the uh, left, so from the south side. See the glide path's already there. A few bumps. Liverpool radar going to go morning to the Gold Fox. So we're expecting an initial rate of descent to be around 700 feet per minute. 7.2 miles. Kilo November Hotel, Liverpool Radar, good afternoon, pass your message. Hello there, Golf November Hotel, the Pipe Up Agam, the PA15 out of Woodvale. Uh, destination is late, just departed the Woodvale ATZ, 1000 feet, 1015. There you go, that looks like the localizer's line, it's coming in quite nicely. So I'll follow that on the way in. 6.4 miles, top of the drops 5.9, as you have a look at the plane. So all looking fairly reasonable. Go to gear and floor. On the glide, starting to descend, looking for about 700 feet per minute initially. I'm bringing the power back to about 40% just for the time being. November 2, Lima Romeo, contact Liverpool Tower, 126 as well, 355, bye-bye. 126, 355, good day, November 4, Lima Romeo. Uh, I've already got the pre-program, box 2 onto tower, 126, uh, 355. Liverpool Tower, good morning, November 4, Lima Romeo, RLS 27, 4.4. November 4, Lima Romeo, Liverpool Tower, morning, surface wind 2809 to not, Lins land, runway 27. Right, well, we are clear to land, so the landing light goes on, four miles, so now the gear can go down. Just a bit of an attitude change, trimming forward with the aircraft. And as the speed comes back, we need to reduce our rate of descent, as you can see we slightly dip below the glide there. Right, all looking good, we're going to start to slowly ease the speed back, so around 100 knots or so. Right, 133, three. we've got plenty of approach flap in, that's three miles. I guess again, quite a big attitude change. Keeping the speed coming back, just trimming, quite a bit of aft trim now. Just fighting the odd lump with the aircraft there. Whee. There you go, so that's through 500 feet to go to minimums. All looks good inside. We've got the landing lights on, we've got three greens on the gear, we've got approach flap. And what we will do is we'll land with landing flap, we'll put that on at minimums. Speed's coming back quite nicely, it's around 100 knots. Power settings all looking good. A little bit below the glide there, so just correcting for that. And I go back on it so you can team with the rate of descent there. Okay, so just increasing the power now. The so speed doesn't go too low. All looking good, 100 to go to minimums. Looking good inside. Okay, that's minimum, so looking minimums, up, minimums. landing flap, come on. Clear to land. What I'll do, so we're going to leave the pappies, your damper comes out, we're going to leave the pappies, and go for about 90 knots, 85 over the threshold, and then uh, we'll be able to vacate, uh, go for the threshold, and uh, we'll be able to uh, vacate a fox chop. There you go, so chopping the power there. Wide runways, so you just got to remember not to flare too high, since I'm used to sort of landing on smaller runways. So just holding it off nice and gently, making sure the nose is straight for touchdown. There you go, and we're down. Landing comes off, taxi, pitos can come off, fuel pumps one and two can come off, flaps can go up. Alternate air confirmed is up. So we've got the airport chart here, we've got Foxtrot which we expect to vacate. Lima Romeo, vacate next flight at Foxtrot, taxi to Kilo. Right, Foxtrot, taxi to Kilo, November 40, Lima Romeo.
go, so vacating Fox shot there. And Kilo is the uh, light GA apron, so the second turning on the left. There you go, hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a uh, nice little flight, just a few, sort of a few bumps, a little bit of icing here and there just to uh, just to try and avoid. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get sort of quite busy doing the uh, sort of setter. I'll get ready to send my friends down to Jersey, which I'm uh, massively looking forward to. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. Uh, see you guys next time. Hope you all enjoyed it.